Good evening. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. We're going to have more on that mom arrested for intoxication assault in just a moment. First, though, we've got some breaking news from Governor Rick Perry's office on the immigration surge at the Texas-Mexico border. The governor says the state of Texas is implementing a Department of Public Safety law enforcement surge at the border to try to stop the flood of illegal immigration. Perry says the state is funding the DPS trooper operation with $1.3 million per week through, quote, at least the end of the year. This is new video from today from the Border Patrol holding facility in Brownsville, one of several that are overflowing with undocumented children from Central America. DPS says more than 34,000 unaccompanied children, most from Central America, have been caught crossing into Texas from Mexico this year. Perry's been consistently critical of the federal government for not doing more to secure the border and take care of the influx of illegal immigrants. He says Border Patrol agents have not been able to do their jobs because they have to take care of the increasing number of women and children at these border crossings. Congressman Henry Cuellar points out most of them are crossing the Rio Grande in South Texas. But to see young girls, young boys with no parents ages 9, 10, 11, 12, coming in, traveling thousands of miles to get over here to the U.S. Uh, has to break your heart. A high-ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee urged President Obama to activate the National Guard for Border Patrol. Vice President Joe Biden is visiting Central America this week to discuss the problem with Latin American leaders. President Obama has not talked about National Guard involvement. Tonight, supporters for immigration reform gathered in Dallas, not knowing this news about border security would come this quickly. Fox Force Calvert Collins joining us with more on that. Calvert. Yes, Steve, 500 people filled this sanctuary uh, talking about immigration reform, what they could do at the local level, believing that Governor Rick Perry nor President Obama would fix the larger problem at hand. And they would listen to stories of personal hardship from immigrants who had come to this country when this news broke. Many in the room spoke of their wages being stolen by bosses because of their illegal status, stories of being forced to work long hours outside without rest or water breaks. Another man spoke of living in a bedbug infested apartment where his landlord refused to pay for pest control. When I broke the news to some attendees about the governor's plan, they had similar reactions. To spend that kind of money on border control when there's so much else that could be done in this state, uh, to me is ludicrous. But when did you project the ones that are here, the ones that are coming? Because they're going to keep coming. Because, you know, we're the land of opportunity. Every person we interviewed said there needs to be more done for those who are already here, amnesty or otherwise. And the Dallas Area Interfaith Group, who hosted this event tonight, will launch its immigration action team in the next few weeks. And again, this meeting tonight was about immigration reform. What could be done at the micro level here in Dallas? What could be done from volunteers, from churches and synagogues uh, to help others understand the hardships that so many immigrants are going through? So. So, um, you know, for many, this news is certainly not what they wanted to hear. They would rather hear more amnesty options for those who are coming across, particularly those kids. So um, anyway, it's just kind of an interesting perspective that we heard at this event tonight, Steve. Got it, Calvert. And how the money is going to be spent, exactly how the operation at the border is going to roll out, we haven't heard those specific details. So we'll see. That's all to unfold. Calvert Collins Live, thanks.